now i will discuss the nature of alkyl group and how the nature of alkyl group is deciding the sn2 reaction let's take uh, various subtrade let's take let's say we have this one then we have this one one methyl group is attached with carbon and in the third one there is two methyl group is attaching with the carbon and at the last three methyl group is attaching with the carbon let's see in this four how these are affecting the sn2 reaction so what we have earlier seen that in the if we see the transition state if we see transition state what we have seen in the transition state that see if we take first one h h h there is detaching of leaving group and attaching of nucleophile this is the first one if we take the second one then h we have one ch3 we have h we have nucleophile and leaving group so if we compare between these two what we can see here that we have a bulkier group here ch3 is the bulky group this one is the bulkier group here there is no bulkier group in this so what is what is this methyl is doing here this is the preventing the path of forming bond between carbon and nucleophile so this is this is creating a hindrance to nucleophile to create bond with carbon same way if we see the third one C is attached with two methyl and living group is detaching nucleophile is approaching so what we, we can see here we have sorry hydrogen so here there is bulky group two bulky group so they will create a hindrance that hindrance will be greater than second one because there was one bulky group and here there is two bulky group so they are creating more hindrance to nucleophile to attack to attack the carbon so at the last we have CS3 so this is fully blocking the carbon from nucleophile so what we know from earlier that this is one degree carbon this carbon is one degree carbon this is two degree carbon and this is three degree carbon so from this four we can conclude that if there the if there is increasing the number of bulkier group then the rate of reaction will decrease so the rate of reaction will be faster for the first one then will second one let's say this is third this is fourth then th third one and in case of fourth no reaction will take place in case of fourth there is no reaction there will be no reaction as the nucleophile is fully blocked by this three methyl group so three degree carbon do not give sn2 reaction okay keep in mind so whatever we have con concluded from here the reaction will be better for cs3 then to be one degree carbon one degree carbon sorry one degree carbon two degree carbon and for the case of three degree there will not be any reaction they do not give sn2 reaction in the second factor which will decide the sn2 reaction is that if we have electron withdrawing group if we have electron withdrawing group connected with subtract that will increase the increase rate of reaction in 
SN2. So, if we have electron withdrawing group, we all know what is electron withdrawing group. Though electron withdrawing groups are the groups which withdraw the electrons. So, electron withdrawing group increases rate of reaction. How how EWG group increases rate of reaction? Let's see in the transition state here. We have in the transition state and sorry there will be delta negative and also delta negative charge here so let's say in place of one hydrogen we have electron withdrawing group let's say what is electron withdrawing group let's say we have NO2 so what NO2 will do that it it will withdraw it will withdraw the negative charge from here so bond, there is a formation of bond and delta negative charge will be stabilized by this electron withdrawing group so if we have electron withdrawing group there is a stabilization due to due to uh, the charge density in the nu nu on the nucleophile is getting stabilized by that electron withdrawing group so keep in mind electron withdrawing group increases the rate of reaction in SN2 the next point is if benzyl and allyl if benzyl and allyl has lower degree it is an excellent substrate for the SN2 mechanism if benzyl and allyl has lower degree it is excellent for SN2 what is benzyl and allyl allyl group let's see example then you, you will get um, some meaning that if a benzyl and allyl has lower degree it is excellent substrate for SN2 mechanism let's say we have this group CH2 CH CH2 here living group so the living group is connected with the carbon that carbon is attached with the allyl group this is allyl group so this is one degree allyl because this carbon is connected with one carbon single carbon so one degree allyl so here itself it is written that if allyl has lower degree so one degree is the lower degree so it will be very much favorable for a to reaction nucleophile so this will give easily a to reaction and new plus l minus why it is giving the um, better rate uh, let's see in the earlier we have seen that electron withdrawing group increases the rate of reaction electron withdrawing group if we have learned if you have learned in the GOC part that if a carbon is connected with multiple bond with another carbon then you can this is this can act as a electron withdrawing group please remember you may have learned before so carbon is connected with another carbon with double bond so this one is also electron withdrawing group so when a carbon is connected with another carbon with multiple bonds it will act as electron withdrawing group so this this point itself is under this this point electron withdrawing group so this is this is increasing the rate of SN2 reaction same way if we take the benzyl also let's see the next benzyl ch12 so this is also a better substrate this is also a better substrate for sn2 reaction so in the point that is given 
at lower degree it should be it should be of lower degree so it should not be like this l we have angel it will not give sn2 reaction because it is of higher degree so this is higher degree benzyl so this will not give sn2 reaction same way the higher degree allyl also like this this will not give sn2 reaction so in the point that is given the lower degree allyl and lower degree benzyl will give the it's better excellent substrate for the sn2 reaction now we would see the effect of living group effects of living group if you can remember the ability of living in the sn1 reaction that is same as that sn2 reaction that is least basic is the better living group whatever we have learned in sn1 that is same as this like SN1 